having the, the opportunity to, to spend some time with Brendan and Todd uh, hasn't happened in, in many years. And, and that, just to catch up and, and talk uh, old memories is, uh, is definitely special. Uh, but also being back in Vancouver, anytime you, you get to go back and, and revisit, and we just went in and saw the players, and um, kind of brings back memories as well. So it, it's, uh, and also having the chance here, uh, bringing our families and, and our sons. Um, so it's been great. I think a big key is, is trying to enjoy what you're doing. There is definitely a lot of pressure playing hockey on this level and, and playing in a in a passionate market, but uh, um, for us, I think a big key was, in my mind, when we we try to just enjoy the game, and, and uh, then the results would would come. So um, it's 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 easier said than done, but I, I think that that was my main message. We weren't afraid to speak our mind and speak up. Some people might have thought it was brash or. Uh, um not the way you're supposed to do it, but we respected each other enough uh, and valued each other's opinions on what we saw out there and, and what we wanted to do. And uh, I think the one thing that we wanted to do was we wanted to be the best. And in order to be it, we needed all three of us on the same page and doing the same thing. And when one guy wasn't towing the rope, we weren't shy to, uh, uh, to let them know that. And, uh, but I think the key was just the amount of fun we had, the fun we had in practice, um, carried on to the plane, carried on to the road, and carried on to the games. Honestly, let's. Uh, I was put into a a, uh, a phenomenal situation by you know the coaching staff here at the time, Mark Crawford and Mike Johnson, Jack Malkahargi, and I, rem I remember the game clearly. The first time I played with these guys, it was in Detroit, and um, I think that first game uh, we clicked, and our line had a couple goals, and it just kind of rolled from there. But you know, kind of a dream scenario for a centerman to step into a situation to play with these two guys. You know, at that time, early 2000s, I don't know if there were if uh, there were two better players in their position. <clears throat> and um, with Todd being the, the most dominant power forward in the game at the time, a, a big man that had a physical presence, was intimidating, but had a set of hands like that. I mean, even I mean, maybe one of the best all time when he was in in his prime. And with Marcus, just. Uh, <laughs> You know, to this day, very few guys that I have seen can shoot the puck like he did uh, with pinpoint accuracy. Um, you know, never the big slap shot, but, you know, just that wrist shot coming off, the, you know, rushes or walking off the wall in the power play. And, um, you know, but I, what I do think about Marcus is his passing was underrated. And everybody talks about his goal scoring, but his, his vision on the ice was incredible. And, and uh, you know, so just finding a way to fit in with those guys and, you know, playing a little defense the odd time so they can they can do their thing offensively and uh, yeah, it was uh, a lot of fun.